Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa, your expert, women's wellness, and hypnotherapist. How are you doing? I hope you are safe and sound. If you are in California, you are experiencing something that most of us are not seeing uh, if we are not living in the back east, which is a lot of rain and a lot of destruction. But today we want to talk about healing and we want to talk about love because no matter what is happening around us, and how compassionate we want to feel there's also something that it's more loving and it is accepting whatever it is happening and coping with it dealing with it and knowing that it's all good and it will all be right so today i want to talk about love i want to talk about healing and also i have a great gift for you so sit, stay tuned until the end so you can receive a gift from me and i'm gonna talk about my blog which i would love for you to like and share and subscribe to my blog post on lisabubari.com because it is your shares and likes that helps me grow and know that there is a difference that I make in your life. So let's start this. I myself, I'm not one to watch Oscars and Grammys and any of that. But this Sunday, I happened to turn on the Grammys and first in the, in the beginning and then I was busy until the end, which I was watching. And you're thinking, Lisa, why are you talking about the Grammys? hope because I've been watching Miley Cyrus since the time that she was a kid and singing with her father and then yes her other songs that made head waves and made other people turn their head um, yes she's done a lot of things but so many of the singers have and here's what I was smiling about. Miley got two Grammy Awards and she got one in the beginning which was for one of her songs and at the end for the record of the year. But the song that made an impact in my life last year and I guess it resonated because music is feelings and I know you will uh, uh, attest to this music moves us music the words the lyrics everything touches our heart and that's called love because when we feel it we feel love we feel a connection and it reminds us maybe from old love who hasn't been in love right haven't you been in love and had your heart broken I bet you had I know I did from the time I was a kid, puppy love, high school, and then college years. And then of course I got married, love, and then divorce. And you know, love changes. And every experience, every relationship, my relationships after that. And I was with someone for the longest time. We never lived together, but it was a different love. And to this day, even for my birthday, it was the second person who texted me and wished me a happy birthday because it's a different love and it continues. We learn so much from one another, good, bad, right, wrong, and emotionally up and down. But today I know that there was love. And even as a domestic abuse consultant, when I work with uh, my clients, it's even in that relationship, the reason we don't leave is because we believe there is more love and we can handle so much more. But there comes a time that you have to safeguard yourself. So today I want to do a short 
um, talk about Valentine's. Uh, even my blog post on lisabubari.com is about one of my clients, Martha, that she came to me and uh, how she didn't want to have a relationship, her fears, and then how through hypnosis she overcame and became stronger and how the power of hypnotherapy and working through your past experiences, healing through that helps you move forward in life as I am ready to move forward in life. I know a few days ago was my birthday and thank you so much for all the texts and messages and to me that is love and I appreciate it and it was very much heartfelt. So today we'll talk about this and I will give you some pointers. Hypnotherapy, in a way, offers a unique and powerful venue and avenue for individuals to overcome emotional pain. I work with mental, emotional pain. Yes, the physical is a, um, a reflection of what we feel and what we think. So when we hold on to things, if we start peeling away, understanding, acknowledging, evoking the pain internally, and then it becomes easier when we shed it that the physical weight also comes off. So from failed relationships, facilitating a journey towards overcoming it and becoming stronger, more confident, right? And being joyful and happy. That abundance of love is what we are all looking for. Who doesn't want to be loved? or love and feel loved and know that we are love. So when relationships end and that emotional wound lingers, that's affecting our self-esteem. That affects our daily routines. Uh, we become hermits. We don't want to go out. Perhaps you have been in that shoe that after a, a divorce, a breakup, it feels like you wanna cocoon yourself to a place that you don't wanna see anyone. You don't want see, you don't want anyone to see your pain. And you just want to just feel as if I wanna take care of myself. To go into that bear hug, right? And because when you delve into that subconscious mind of yours and coping with everything that has happened in your life and realizing that uh, there are three points that connect and affect us. One of them is, it reminds us if you've experienced this, perhaps you have from the childhood times, an abandonment issue. Usually that's dormant. We don't know it, we don't feel it, we don't think about it until there is a relationship and there is a breakup. And when there is that abandonment, it's, but what is the emotions connected to that is fear, it's anxiety, and which puts us in that point of feeling lonely. Loneliness is another one, that fear of rejection. And because we don't want to fear the rejection, you hibernate, you withdraw, and it's like leaking your own wound where all you want is truly someone to see you, not necessarily rescue you, but to hear you, to understand you. And that in itself, it's one of the most common universal fear that I see in my clients is that feeling of loneliness, not being heard, not being seen, and you're afraid to show up. So that struggle that goes internally becomes this 
internal struggle that is projected outside because loneliness can be absolutely difficult and emotionally draining that fear of abandonment is more about fearing the possibility of future loneliness so we either repel or we cling on and too much of a cling on it's like leave me alone and when they push you away you feel I'm being rejected so that most of the time comes from triggers something triggers and I believe it's an unresolved issues from past relationships not everything is about our parents it could be a friend it could be a neighbor it could be a cousin it can be from a teacher it can be from someone that you admire or you look up to and what they say and a gesture a word a, a look and what they represent to you you internalize it and you come to believe that what they said or what they did is true and since as children we are like sponges we take that in and perhaps you incorporated it or you believe someone abandoned you maybe that's the story that you took and internalized and never healed through that maybe they left for the, the right reasons and you had something to do with it right because it takes two to tango I know that and it's not about finding fault but perhaps finding how you can find the love I know I, my divorce was difficult my breakups have been very difficult when I was in it I was in extreme fear walking on eggshells to a point that with one relationship I had to hide under my desk in order for him not to come inside my office so but today if I see that person and when I see that person I have no problem smiling and saying hello because the trigger what triggered me then it's null and void I've healed so much to come to the confidence and finding inner joy inner calm inner strength that I know how to help you get to that same level so either loneliness abandonment or attachment issues those are all some information stored in the subconscious and you yes you can heal that um, I want to share something that um, I started with and those are the words that resonated with me with Miley Cyrus from her breakup she wrote a song that today she got the Grammy Awards and it is about self-love so the song is flowers when you listen not only to the song that makes you dance and makes you move and just movement releases negative energy that's why exercising running dancing anything that is just sitting and mourning outside of there's a time to mourn there's a time to heal and then it's time to move and when you come to the movement those are the words we were good we were gold kind of dream that can't be sold we were right till we weren't built a home and watched it burn mm, I didn't want to leave you and I didn't want to be I started to cry but then I remembered I can buy myself flowers and would put write my name on the sand talk to myself for hours 
and say things you don't understand. And I can take myself out dancing because I dance in my office, I can dance in my car, put the music on, blast the radio and sing. And when those tears come flowing out, I want you to remember those tears are tears of cleansing, feeling, knowing of I matter, that I can do this, that I can overcome and I can heal. Because no matter where you are, bottom line is you got to care for yourself. And hypnosis, hypnotherapy sessions are often involved with that relaxation technique that I do when I take you deep within and incorporate loving suggestions so you can become kinder to yourself, tapping into the subconscious mind and figuring out the triggers that perhaps a year ago, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, 20 years ago, I don't know, in your childhood affected you. And you took it as the power words to be or the feeling to be. And you allowed that boomerang with other things that happened in your life. And it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be because you do deserve not only a loving relationship, not everyone is bad, not everyone is there to hurt you, and building that trust within yourself, trusting yourself to know the difference of the good, the bad, the right, the wrong, the loving, and the ones who are not loving. And it's okay, it truly is okay to say no and put your hand out and you turn your hand and you say, you know what, that's it. I surround myself with my love and my light and I take care of me. Having a fresh perspective um, and addressing, reframing the limiting beliefs that you have today that has created a block. We unblock. We peel away like a Jenga, take away and remember that the foundation is love. Hypnotherapy empowers you to rebuild your self-esteem and your confidence and with positive suggestions and positive new belief in yourself and the life that you want to build. You know, Think and Grow Rich, the book is all about that, is think and then grow rich. And self-development, self-help, everything is all about belief within and then project out. So that's what Heal Within is all about. And when I work with my clients, I say, believe in yourself and trust in my ability or you can trust within yourself and have a faith in 30, actually not 30, 23 years of doing this work. I'm, I'm so used to my number threes. I was about to say 30 years of doing this, but healing journey is within and ultimately hypnotherapy helps you um, to feel and know and have the powerful tools and techniques within yourself that once you have that healing, once you overcome and feel good about yourself, just like the way I do my self-hypnosis, you can be anywhere and you can just take yourself into that state of knowing and being, being love, right? By addressing the root causes, you break free from I don't want to say chains and shackles, but paths and journey from the past. Love is what we all want. Stop and smell the roses, right? Yes, thank you. Hi, Minas John. Actually, someone 
long time ago told me there's a fine line between hate and love. <laughs> I didn't know until our relationship came to that. And there was times that I hated him. And that's because I loved him. And I loved hating him. And I hated loving him. <laughs> Does it make sense? And it took years of healing, not being around that person to be strong enough to stand in front of him and say hello. Because now I found the trust within. And my gift to you for Valentine's is cherish yourself and cherish the ones that you have loved and you have lost and the ones who loved you and were with you. Because even in a, the most loving marriage, sometimes there's arguments, but it doesn't mean we love each other less. And when there's time that it's no longer bearable, there's no reason to hang on to it, that old myth of you made your bed and you must lay in it until, right? I think taking responsibility for one another and working through because love is something that we nurture and that's what relationships are. We're on the same boat. We don't just jump ship just because of an argument. So on this Valentine's, if you are with anyone that is special to you, oh, cherish it. Have a blast. Feel the love, give love, and enjoy this moment, this experience, and don't take it for granted. And for all the single ladies, <laughs> let us bring that abundance of love and go buy your own flowers, write your name on a book, uh, publish your poems and write your name on the sand, do whatever it is that you want and remember, music moves you and you move with music. So if you do hashtag and text 818-221-2797 with the word love. I have a gift of 10 minute audio recording for you to attract love. Again, 818-221-2797 and hashtag text the word love. That's all you have to do, not hashtag, but text the word love and you will receive an audio recording from me. And the last thing I wanted to say about 25 years ago, there was a club in Glendale. And I'm bringing all this back uh, into the Grammys. I used to go country western dancing. I used to dance four nights a week. And I didn't know anything about country western because I love dancing. I do my Armenian folklore dancing, the, my authentic, uh, um, I'm, as a Persian dancer, Armenian dancing, everything. We just love to dance, eat, music, right? Abundance. And uh, I was trained in ballroom dancing. So country was new. It was different. This uh, country western cha-cha and tango and line dancing. So as I'm at the club that night, on a Thursday night, they used to bring performers. And that time, 30 years ago, the performer who came and was teaching us line dancing was none other than Billy Ray Cyrus. That's it, himself. I met him in person. He came to the dance floor and he was teaching us his number one hit that was just about to hit the number one charts for country music, Achy Breaky Heart. And at that time, I got to tell you, it was the number one thing to do is that country western line dancing, achy breaky heart. 
And so many years later, Miley Cyrus gets her Grammy with the song, not achy breaky heart, but flowers, which is the most loving way women love to be cherished. Number one, flowers, gifts, chocolate, and of course, yes, hugs, cuddles, and everything else. So from Billy Ray Cyrus to Miley Cyrus. Love is all over. When we look, we find. It's from within. And make a difference to all those around you, either by service or by a loving hand. And with that, I want to say thank you again for all your texts, messages, be sure to subscribe and like and share. My name is Lisa, your expert hypnotherapist. May you have an amazing Valentine. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Stay tuned. Next week is going to be amazing. God bless you and may the universal light surround you always. Bye-bye. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.